Hello, and welcome back to another video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell, notifications every time I upload. And today we are going to be carrying on working on my Volkswagen, the transporter I've got. It's a 2001 2.5 TDI with the ACV engine. Currently, we are in the process of diagnosing a misfire. I do have several other videos on this, um, little videos of what I've done so far, a little few little tests. So the next test, which is what we're going to be doing today, is a leak down test. So I'd like to thank Chris to start off with, the diesel specialist who's loaned me his compressor and leak down test kit. Um, bloody good bit of kit as well, I had a look, little look through it. Um, yeah, really impressed with that. Wouldn't mind getting one myself, but you know, I'm not, it's not something that I'm going to be doing this much work of. So, yeah, it's good to learn it out. So, yeah, massive thank you to Chris. I'll sort you out, mate. Nice one. Um, thank you to Matt from JVS Auto Electrical because without him, I wouldn't be able to do the leak down test because he loaned me a compressor. Uh, you might have seen that in a previous video. Uh, but the only problem was with that um, compressor and all the equipment, the airlines were very old. They'd seen better days. So I treated myself, lucky enough, here in uh, Southampton, we have a machine mark. Um, one of the very few places I actually get my tools from because I don't like deliveries because I can never wait for a tool. It's got, I've got to have it there and then. So I get a lot of my stuff from machine mark, um, a few things from screw fix and uh, good old Halfords because Halfords are only a stone throw away. And of course now some of their tools is uh, lifetime warranty, which is pretty good. Right, so let's have a look and see what I got from Clark. So I've got one of these five-piece air tool kit with gravity fed spray gun. And along with that I also got some I got some uh, quick release terminals. And I got myself a quarter inch BSP thread, and this will go from the airline into the compressor so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll tell you what this will come in handy degreasing the engine won't it? I've got that I've got my gunk happy days I didn't even think about that when I got it we've got a little little spray bottle gravity fed, fed spray bottle um, all right, tire pressure thing. Ch -ch -ch. Do you know what? I could connect the union into that, couldn't I? And then ch -h -ch, spray it into the... And then I can see how much pressure I'm putting in. Although, let's, let's show you the leak down test kit so I could actually yeah I could do it that way so I've already had a look through it does come with a little manual it is Sealy tools so again Sealy tools do make some great tools I do have quite a few Sealy products around but yeah so I've gone through already, had a look, um, for my engine I need number 12, so this will go in through where the glow plug is, that's a little bit dirty in there, don't matter if it's dirty, that'll blow out when the airline blows through, yes yeah, so, um, so that will go in, uh, we have this, no, this one will be on the end of the airline, and then that will just Hmm, I haven't really thought this through much. Oh, right, yeah, no, I, I, get, oh, I get it now. So you've got the glow plug. This goes into the cylinder leakage. This end, quick release. And then in this end, this is where the quarter inch union goes in. So that will go in through that way. It's the flow. It's got an arrow there. Flow of the air. 
I've got myself some PTFE tape so we can get a nice secure. We've got push and lock, so we've got to make sure it's locked. It says to turn it all the way anti clockwise, which is already anti clockwise. Um, yeah, so that's, this, that's, that's what we've got there to use to do the leak down test, and then. That way, let's put that away first. Um, yeah, now the compressor and that. Oh, we didn't put that away either. Alright, let me have a look at one of these. Yeah, one of these. What I need from this is the airline. Now this airline, we've got one of these, this end, that will go into the air compressor. Well apparently that just goes straight onto there, but And then that will go into the leak down test kit. I don't know whether I want to do it that way. Well, I'll leave it there. And I'll come back to you in a minute once I know exactly what I'm doing. Right, so this is where we're at. I've hooked up um, one of these quick release either end of the airline, one to go straight into the compressor. I've also made sure that the air pressures um, for the leak down test, it says it needs to be between 50 and 100 psi. Well, it says 45, but we'll go 50 and 100. So yeah, we kind of like, what's that, about 80? Oh, sorry, can't see. So I think, yeah, we're on about 80 there. Um, that's just a Kestrel air compressor what was it uh, 8 bar 1.5 horsepower happy day so cheers Matt nice one uh, I think I'm sorted out with what I need so how I'm going to do it is that will plug into the uh, air compressor like I said this end will plug into the gun I have removed this valve well the nozzle that was on the end of the gun so I just removed that quickly that union, quarter inch, one end in that end, and then one in there, and then that will be it. So, uh, happy days. I think I know what I'm doing now. Um, yeah, I've never done anything like this before, I'm not a mechanic. Well, I have done compression tests on an old, I had a Mark 1 Fiesta, and I've done the head on that. Um, I done a compression test and then yeah, ended up having to do the head. So I think what I'm going to do is um, yeah, I've cleaned the cam case out and that was all that came out from the cam case. Absolutely mingy. So you've seen that if you follow me on Instagram, Twigs T4, go check it out. Right, so this is where we're at. So the airline, um, it's not connected up yet. Uh, I have done a little test on it. I don't have to put this on. I could just have the airline running straight to it. I did a little pre-test. Everything seems to be working fine. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'll connect the airline up. Um, I'll hold the trigger. I can open this valve. And then this will let me know if there's any leakage. So to get that little connector in um, and to connect this quick release for the leak down test, um, I had to remove the water housing unit, which is just here now. So I'll remove that for now. Um, obviously I had to drain the coolant. Uh, 
But yeah, let's get uh, oh also I've set um, piston two to TDC. Well top dead center for piston two. So both valves should be shut. And we better find out if we've got a leakage. Alright, let's get on with it. So while I was doing this, I wasn't actually talking. I was trying to listen. Um, I was letting a little bit of air into this cylinder and you could hear it was escaping from somewhere. And I'm just sticking my head around different engine bay, seeing if I can hear exactly where it's coming from. It kind of sounds like it's coming from underneath the back of the head, really, you know, sort of like in between the in, uh, intake and the exhaust manifold. It sounds like it's coming from around the back there somewhere. Uh, but there's definitely the cylinder's definitely leaking. It, it's you can hear it. There's no doubt about it. Uh, regardless, you know the uh, the gauge there says it's it's hard to get a decent reading because it's always going to keep losing air pressure the cylinder because for one I haven't preheated the engine so all the components haven't um, expanded and contracted and they're not up to sort of like. Um, a nice compression. Uh, if I'd done a compression test, yes, it would tell me um, the compression between the cylinders and this cylinder would be lower than the others. Uh, I know that because what I'm going to do next is check cylinder one and then I'm going to check cylinder three as well. So I'm going to check both cylinders next to cylinder one and see if there's any kind of major differences in the sounds that we hear from um, the air going in. So I wasn't really paying too much attention to the gauge itself. I was just mainly listening for what the sounds of the air escaping sounded like. And then also on one of the uh, cylinders, I think it was this cylinder here, cylinder three, I, I, I rotated it so that one of the valves was purposely open and then I injected the air in so I could hear the difference with uh, a valve that's leaking and a valve that's completely open. And the valve that's open you can't really hear the air escaping. Um, but when on piston two, cylinder two, when I tested that one, you could hear that hissing and it was quite high, quite loud. So there's definitely, definitely a leak there somewhere in cylinder two. Funny enough, I don't think it is piston rings because when I dip, um, pulled the dipstick out, it wasn't that loud. So I don't know, maybe the, head's, uh, the head gasket's blown at the back just I don't know um, but there's only going to be one way to find out and that's to actually get the head off so yeah that's the next job for me um, I'm going to be taking the head off so I've already drained the coolant so that's a result all I've got to do now is drain the oil and start stripping the head um, but I guess that'll be for next time so I've done a, a leak down test you can Unfortunately, the, ca the, the camera and that didn't really pick it up. You couldn't really hear the hissing sound. I have listened through the footage, but yeah, you can't really hear it. There's so much wind and everything else going on. So I'm just going to uh, wrap it up here. Going to leave it for now. Uh, the next job, I guess, uh, going to start stripping it all down. Oh yeah, a little bit of WD-40 on there because it is raining at the moment. And uh, well, it just started raining which is perfect timing for me to finish now. So a little bit of WD-40 on there. Bit of uh, water repellent. Happy days. Moisture repellent. Keep rust away. And that's it. That's it, yeah. So we'll see where we're at next time. Um, mm, the head's coming off. Happy days. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Stay safe. God bless. Safe.